Hey guys, how's it going? You're watching Nostalgic. It's me, Nas, that guy on the sticker. How's it going? Hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, I just wanted to make this video really quick. That's why I'm not set up the usual way here. Uh, you might be noticing this really cool new uh, pad I have here. And you might be noticing uh, it's Shop164, so shout out to those guys. Um, I actually buy wheels from them. And that's who I got this box from. 164, check it out for nostalgic. So um, this box um, is something I got from them. I'll show you in one second. But I just finished making an unbox video from Steve of Miniature Mustangs. Guys, here, let me show you his card. Dude, check this out. He sent me his new card, which is freaking awesome. Go check out Steve. But Steve just sent me a donation of uh, all these custom cars that he made. So check out that video. He also sent me a freaking custom by, by, by another epic freaking customizer, JB Diecast, man. Like, check it out. He's, he's on my freaking board right there as well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man. Look at that thing. So yeah, um, if you want to see that and Steve's Customs, check out the video. Uh, it should be out now. Uh, but in any case, Steve sent me this pad as a gift, man. And I I actually was thinking of buying one from 164. Uh, by the way, not sponsored in any way. Uh, just a fan of 164 here. Uh, I have their wheels. I use their wheels. They're freaking nice. So check them out. And uh, but yeah, let's let's find out what's in here. I just thought it was a weird coincidence that I just opened the box with this awesome freaking pad that I'll be using from now on. Also, um, you know, from 164 <laughs> that I got stuff from, and uh, Steve sent that to me literally two minutes ago. I made the video, so I was like, oh my god, all right, I'm gonna freaking make this video. And uh, oh yeah, I already cut the sides, so let's cut the top. I literally started opening it, then I'm like, dude, just film it. <laughs> so we're doing that. All right, so, all right. Well, obviously, again, not sponsored. Uh, Shop164, hit me up, man. You guys want to collaborate a little bit? I will happily uh, work with you guys. Uh, in any case, love them. Let's see. Uh, how about these nuts, guys, huh? All right. I have to take that joke every time. All right, so... Let's see what this is. I'm sure you guys are excited to find out. I know uh, I know what it is. Okay, good. Uh, we'll put that there. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, I was hanging out. I'm actually taking a, a two-week break from buying anything. I'm doing a two-week buy nothing other than food um, type of a fasting situation, I guess, is what you want to call uh, but, ugh, I'm still getting stuff in the mail that I bought, like, a week or two ago, so that's, that's fun. So, I was hanging out on 164, <laughs> uh, whatnot page, and, um, actually, I wasn't, that's what happened, um, I hope, actually, okay, here's the story, uh, I'm gonna just open this while I tell the story, um, so I was just cruising through whatnot as you do, you know, and um, I stopped. Uh, I come across uh, 164. Usually he's just running like custom wheels or customs, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I, I buy stuff there uh, on, on the regular kind of, you know, and uh, so I wasn't expecting for him to have this. I thought, you know... Uh, I see him showing this, and I'm like, as soon as I, like, you know, came onto his site, I'm sorry, I'm, I, words, okay, so I stumble onto their whatnot page, and he's holding this, and I'm like, what, why is he holding uh, a Datsun freaking 510 uh, RLC golf livery box, and why is no one bidding on it, <laughs> and, uh, it, you know, I mean, someone was bidding on it, but I just got in, so I hope that someone didn't ask him for this to run it, and I kind of came in and, like, sniped it. I, I don't think so. I don't think anyone was commenting, but a few people recognized me, and they're like, hey, Nas, you know, I watch your channel or whatever. I was like, hey, what's up? So, um, but also, Steve, freaking Steve, was in that stream, so I'm, it's just, sorry about the shaking. 
it's just such a weird thing. What a small world, you know what I mean? Like the diecast community, you can't really get away from people. So, you know, careful what you say. So, um, <laughs> uh, this is really cool. So, um, no one was really bidding on it. One guy bid on it. That's why I thought maybe I was meant for that guy. And it was like 20 bucks or something. I'm like, 20? But this is an RLC Dotson 5. Th like, what? So I kept bidding on it. And I stopped at uh, 35 bucks, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, here. Right there. So 35 bucks for a Dotson 510. Look at this thing. Is Wait, is this sealed? Bro. Okay, no, it's <laughs> it's sealed on that side, so it doesn't matter. So uh, yeah, I was like, I was like, I'm gonna keep going up to forty because uh, I've seen these at the flea market going for like forty. So I was like, well, you know, whatever. And uh, I bid thirty five, and the other guy stopped, and no one else bid. I was like, oh my god! So I actually sold mine. I had one that I got from RLC and uh the website and um i sold mine at one of the earlier hot wheels for ukraine auctions which is what steve donated these customs for the next one at the end of march guys so if anyone wants to donate a custom to be sold at that auction 100 percent of that money goes to ukraine to the volunteers there i explained it in the unboxing video uh from steve but um yeah uh please hit me up on instagram uh nostalgic underscore productions if you want to donate a custom for that sale, um, I would appreciate it. People of Ukraine would appreciate it. So, uh, sorry, I had to take a little side, side step. So I sold mine at one of those auctions uh, for considerably more than $35 because that was, uh, you know, like two years ago. And um, yeah, so I kind of regretted it. I'm like, dude, I need this. I collect, you know, Kaido House. I collect Dots and 510s. All right, we need to get this out. I wasn't planning on making this video, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm all over the place, man. I, I roll with the wind, man. I, I be like Wata, my friend. So um, yeah, bro, uh, he was showing this, I bid on it, and uh, I was like, I need to replace my one that I uh, sold, and I did, and I got lucky with this. And you know what? Steve, Miniature Mustang, sends me a message later literally like a minute after the auction and he's like dude i was gonna bid on this uh, and uh, i stopped when i saw that you were bidding on it so steve i i really appreciate that i appreciate you uh letting me have this um i know you could uh you didn't have to but you did so thank you steve um freaking right on and after this sold uh my man shop 164 just kept going uh with wheels and customs and i was like how what happened like <laughs> it was just one of those things that happens that's why you know i really thought that maybe somebody else was uh you know um someone asked him to run it or whatever okay sorry i'm just excited man and there's always a story to everything i do so it's really cool so check this out oh my god welcome home <laughs> welcome home look at this beauty oh my goodness oh heck yeah this is i know some of them were numbered this was the whole um fiasco with this car that uh some were numbered and then they kept releasing them and they were not numbered so people were like what's going on here mattel but oops sorry this thing's in the way so yeah, man, welcome back, welcome back, welcome home, sweetie. You're back home. I wonder if it's the same one. Somehow made the rounds. Okay, there we go. Come on now. What? <laughs> okay, that is the worst case ever. <laughs> So look at this, guys. How beautiful is this little Datsun 510 with golf livery? This thing is so cool. So again, uh, obviously this is not my usual video style. I'm not going to review this video, so this is more of just like an unboxing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my little um, chaotic storytelling. <laughs> and... Uh, 
I'm just happy to have this back. I freaking love this car. I should have never let it go. But when I did sell it, it sold for, I think, 60 bucks or more. So that money helped out uh, a Ukrainian. Maybe it even saved a life. Who knows? So, And at this point, getting one of these again for 35 bucks, and thanks to, you know, friends and just awesome people like Steve from Miniature Mustangs, um, I was able to uh, get this back. So the universe provides, guys, trust. Just trust it. So this is so cool. So yeah. Ah. <sighs> And yeah, such a weird, like, interweaved story with uh, Shop164 and Steve, and how Steve just sent me this mat, and this came in literally right after I finished filming that. I mean, there's a couple other boxes, but like, you know, <laughs> from other things. But uh, this is just cool, man. I, I love this community. I love the nostalgic community that we've grown together here, guys. I love all of you. You're all fantastic. I love the diecast community, everyone that kind of trickles in and out into my channel and into my life and out of my life. Like, you guys are all amazing. Um, I just, I love this. I think this is all just so cool. And, uh, yeah, this is going to have to be one of those things that probably is going to stay, like, obviously not like this, but I'll probably display this kind of like this. Um, it kind of stays that way, so probably meant to be that way. I'll probably even go one step further and display it like that. <laughs> Let's see. No, no, no. Yeah, Hot Wheels. There you go. We'll do that. So that'll be a cool little way to display that on the old shelf. So uh, yeah, man, uh, there we go. Uh, an impromptu video, a chaotic video. <laughs> uh, Steve, thank you. Uh, Shop164, thank you for an amazing deal. And thank you for everyone who wasn't upbidding me. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, another addition to my collection, and uh, I am so freaking happy. Welcome back, little bluebird. All right, everyone, see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. So, the afterword. These are my babies here. Uh, this turns out to have been wheel swapped, and that's the part that I missed during the, um, uh, you know, the show because I came in right when went up for auction. So uh, that's actually kind of cool. I do like these wheels on there much more. And let me show you something. Look at that. He didn't have to drill this open. Sorry, my finger is dirty. <laughs> he didn't have to uh, drill this thing open. He uh, just swapped the wheels out. Just clipped the old ones off and popped these back on. How cool is that? It's from a candle, don't freaking... <laughs> yeah, I love that. I think these wheels go way better with that. And uh, honestly, like, no one would ever really know. That's another reason why I took this out of the box, because it's no longer, like, you know, um, a thing to hold, because it is a custom, technically. So, yay, another custom, and here it is. Ow. This thing's hurting my head. Ow, ow, ow. So there you go. There's my uh, little, little end credits for you. My little Dotsons that aren't Kaido House collection here. I have more, but these are the ones I'm displaying <laughs> for now. I wheel swap a lot of them, so that's why that kind of works, <laughs> you know? And that's it. Here's my Kaido House stuff. Look at these beautiful chases, man. Three out of five of those I got lucky on. <laughs> Didn't have to pay even uh, retail. So yeah. Alright. Have a good day, everybody. Love this thing. <laughs>